Hey all, Kurt Sasso here from TGT Media, of course at Motor City Comic Con with the amazing uh, author Mark Rothman. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. A lot of people are buying my books. I'm very happy about that. Uh, I, uh, I think I've had a lot. I have a blog on the internet. You're talking about... I hear this all day. Uh, and... Uh, this is a book called Mark Rothman's Essays, which are essays that have been culled from my blog and ransacked from them, so that the only way to read these is to buy the book, because they're not on the blog anymore. <clears throat> and they're really, if you're interested in how the shows I worked on were done, and backstage intrigue and gossip, that was true, this is the place to look. Uh, this book, I'm Not Garbo, is just published. It's my first novel. And it is a fable about Hollywood in the 1930s. What do I mean by a fable? A fable is something that could have happened. It didn't necessarily happen, but it could have, if you changed the names. Uh, it's, a, it's a piece of imagination, so I guess if you put a loaded gun to my head, I'd have to call it fiction. But it's a, it is a ripping yarn, and it's very funny, and it's very dramatic. And it spans about 50 years, from the 30s to the 80s. And I consider it to be the best thing I ever wrote, including all the shows that I worked on. I also write plays, and I've gotten them produced, but not on the scale that I'd like to. We did them in LA and in Florida, but not in the kind of venues I'd really like to do them in. And I think they're worthy of, again, it's my own voice, and I think it's worthy of people's attention. Uh, I have uh, four screenplays that are burning a hole in my briefcase that I would like to see, that are, I consider to be on my bucket list, that I would like to see get done before I'm done. Any questions? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, when it comes to inspirations, though, being that you're you're being very true, using your own true voice for your your uh, for your books, uh, what one or two inspirations have you had that got you on the path of becoming a, a very talented uh, author? You mean in terms of ideas? Ideas or uh, ideas? it's interesting in that I'm not really an idea person. I'm an executor. If someone has a good idea, they should come to me, because I will be able to get the best out of it. But um, I get a good idea like once every three years or so, and I write very quickly. So if you have a good idea once every three years, and you write, if you can write it in three weeks, that leaves you a whole lot of free time which is why I decided to write a blog. Um, I got the idea for this novel because I actually dreamt it in my sleep. I dreamt the first half of the movie. And I woke up just after a major great plot twist, right in the middle of the movie, and I said to myself, this is a great movie. And I could be objective about that because I didn't feel like I wrote it. I just felt like I watched it. So I just consciously came up with the last 50 pages of it. And I think the last 50 pages are better than what I dreamt. So uh, you never know where an idea, a good idea is going to come from. But I tend to dismiss a lot of ideas because I know all the ideas. I have an encyclopedic memory of what I've seen. 
And uh, as a result, I reject a lot of things that I know where they were originally done. So. You know, the younger generation is coming through. They're, they're seeing your work. They're looking towards you for inspiration. How can they inspire the next generation? I'm sorry, repeat that? I'm uh, sorry. Basically, I was saying, how can, the, how can the next generation coming through inspire the generation after that? Young people have to develop a sense of history about what's been done before them. They have to do things like watch Turner Classic movies. Uh, they have to know what was great so they know what to emulate. And not enough people do that. So my biggest piece of advice is learn what you love from what has been done. And aim, at the, aim for that. Uh, that's the best thing I can tell you. So that, that, that's good. I really appreciate that. And is there a website? Uh, you yeah, said you had a... Blog. It's at Mark Rothman's blog, no apostrophe, dot blogspot.com. I'm easily Googleable on the internet. You can find me all over the place. Uh, there's a reading that I've done on YouTube of a screenplay that I wrote for the Laverne and Shirley movie. And I suggest that you check it out. Because it's very good. It fills in a lot of the gaps that the series never filled. Like, how did the girls meet each other? How did they meet Lenny and Squiggy? How did Lenny and Squiggy meet each other? Why did they move to California? What happened to Shirley after she got married? Lots of stuff like that. It's for the fans of the show. That's what it is. You know, Mark, thank you so much for taking the time to do this. I really appreciated this, and, and I hope you have a wonderful time here. Thank you. I hope you buy a book. I will.